Hi, good day again. This is James from Live Help for Us Computer Services, and today I will teach you on how to add a sales kit from your back office. So, a sales kit is uh, intended for those items that has more more than one component. For example, a burger. A burger has more than component. One, it's bun. Two, it's special sauce. And then third, uh, it's patty. And sometimes we have lettuce on it. So uh, for that, we will have to register all those components and make as one product. So which is our burger. So first, we will add those um, items as a category under uh, category um, ingredients. So here, we'll add items for um, bun, bun, and then it is for ingredients, and then regular, purchased, and then uh, each, that's for each, and then editable description. And then here, we'll generate our own barcode. Okay, we'll save this. And then next, we have a beef patty. Beef patty. Another ingredient for our burger. So this is in grams. Editable descriptions. Generate barcode. And then save the item. Next, we have lettuce. Uh -huh. Let lettuce and then ingredients again and also in grams for our units of measure editable description and generate barcode save the item and lastly we have the special sauce uh, sorry I misplaced here we'll place special sauce uh -huh. special sauce for our burger so we just name it special sauce and then again it will be in grams double description generate barcode and um, insert new item and then we will um, make a category which is burger so we will make a category uh, named burger so here regular it is purchased again we will use all purchase of all this um, category and then we'll just leave it um, burger is in uh, pieces piece where is piece here and then it is a category and then yes for the POS quick picks and then burger burger okay and then add new so we have here our new category which is burger so now we are ready to add our sales kit so by clicking again our item slash inventory here we can locate sales kits so here we will make an alias code for our burger uh, it will be all ca in capital letters so I will make it VR for our um, alias code and then component is um, we will all add the four components which are bun, special sauce, beef patty and the lettuce but for now we'll just add first the bun so uh, type the name bun and hit enter and then here and then description it will be the name it will be the name of our sales kit so since BR is our burger so we'll just type burger here and then under a category of burger and then quantity is just one so hit add new the left click of that and then here this is our first um, ingredient for our burger and then we will add the lettuce lettuce enter and then here we'll just add 10 grams of lettuce then add then next is our beef patty beef patty uh, about 
30 grams of beef patty and then add then lastly is our special sauce special sauce okay we'll just type special and then here special sauce about 5 grams okay and then add new so here uh, this is uh, our four components of our burger and then we will hit update to save our uh, work and then in order to add price on our sales kit which uh, named burger we'll just click sales pricing and then we'll type um, BR so because we put an alias on our uh, burger kit with a BR so we'll, uh, type BR and hit enter and then here uh, we have a drop down arrow so we'll click this we will we will choose BR1 kit burger because this is the one which has all the components uh, that we previously uh, added onto our kit so we'll choose this and then here again it's in the retail um, sales type and then we will have to put its um, price so uh, this is an estimated price of 35 pesos so um, click outside and then re ready to save by clicking add new we will save our price for our burger kit for a 35 peso value so we will hit this and the new price has been added so that's it for um, making or adding a sales kit into your back office so first you need to put all the ingredients uh, in ingredients category and then make a sales kit out of it and then you can adjust all the the component measurements uh, for easy inventory of your stocks and then next again same as uh, the sales pricing we will uh, search for um, our alias our sales kit alias and we will choose the um with one kit or one kit so that all the components uh, will be included uh in our price okay so that's it for now in adding a sales kit and uh and putting a a price on it so hope you learn uh, from this video and hope you enjoy watching it so thank you for watching bye